Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about different fields available in authentication header uh, or in ESP that is encapsulating security payload. These are two header we will be discussing and they are different fields. So before that just an overview that why we are discussing this. So the actual thing is that we want a uh, a secure communication between these two points for example this is site A and site B we want that this communication whatever is going on in between these two nodes that should be secure and now to provide security we use a protocol that is IPsec that is actually IP security and this is actually a protocol suite that is used to authenticate as well as encrypt the packets which are being exchanged between these two points and this also actually provides the integrity uh, so in this case, using IPsec, the actual goal is to create a secure tunnel like this. And for creating that secure tunnel, actually these two points negotiate some of the parameters. For example, they negotiate that what kind of encryption they will be using, it means for hiding the data, what will they will be doing. And for authentication, what algorithm they will be implementing and for integrity or how how they will be exchanging the key which will be used for example in the case of encryption so they exchange these parameters to create a tunnel in between them so that the message can be transmitted securely now in doing so they are basically creating or they are establishing a security association in between them so this is all security associations in between these two points and now security association are basically security policies for communication between uh, these two peers. And these security associations are basically one way relationship between sender and receiver. So for example, this is the sender and this is the receiver. So one of the security association will be established when we are sending the data. And second security association that will be established when we will be receiving the data. So two security associations are needed when we want maybe maybe the communication in both of the ways sending as well as receiving now these security associations are basically identified by three parameters so you see we are we function these nodes want to exchange the data they established a security association as a result they agree on some of the encryption authentication as well as some integrity uh, algorithms there and now those security associations are identified by uh, these three parameters. So uh, the, the security parameters are security protocol identifier, IP destination address and security parameter index. So what happens in the case of IPsec? So we know that IPsec actually works at the network layer. And when this network layer receives this data along with the Oh, sorry, event uh, along with the transport layer header, for example, in this case TCP. So when the network layer receives this, at the, at the network layer, IPsec is going to add a header. So this header can be authentication header or this can be ESP header, depending on the encapsulation we select. So that header will be added and then there will be some additional header which will be used for, for routing the traffic or whatever. So now in this, in this packet which will be sent from this point to this point we will have some information which will actually identify the security association because here for example at this point we have we can have multiple security association we need to identify a specific security association when the data will be received at this point so every security association will be identified using these three parameters and uh, and out of these three parameters, first parameter is the security protocol identifier. So this security protocol identifier actually defines what kind of security association is established, whether this is um, authentication header or ESP. So for that, we need to have some indication there. And then we also need to have some uh, destination address, IP destination address. So that is the IP destination address is the destination address of the pair so that will be here in the header part and then we will also have security parameter index so that's the destination endpoint of security association and the last one is security parameter index that is actually the identifier for a security association we give a number to it and some 
So we are discussing in the next session. So these are some of the fields which are already there. Now let's go in the details of those fields which are specifically available in this uh, authentication header part. So for example, if we have selected authentication header as an encapsulation between those two points, then what are the fields in this authentication header? So for that, we have these main uh, fields here. So first field is security parameter index, and that is actually a number given to some security association. So this is actually a 32-bit field that is working as a virtual circuit identifier and that is given to some specific security association. And this identifies to the receiver that how to process the received packet. So this will look into the identifier and it will say that I have many security associations here. I will be using one specific security association to process the packet which I have received. So that is security parameter index. That is one of the fields. And the second field is the next header. So this is actually 8-bit field and that defines what type of payload is in that packet. So that it means that packet could be carrying TCP traffic, UDP, ICMP, OSP traffic. So this will be identified in this field. And then we have the payload length. So payload length is actually 8-bit field and that defines the AH length and so authentication header uh, length and this is actually a multiple of four bytes then there are some of the bits eight bits which are actually reserved bits and uh, we also have a sequence number that's important so sequence number is used against a replay attack so that is used for anti-replay attack and, uh, and this is uh, this actually uses some uh, sliding window technique to avoid anti-replay attack and it says that it is it's not repeated even in case of retransmission. If the number is exhausted, so for example, two raised to power 32 bits, we have used all the numbers in this range, then, and if we ha still have some data, then actually they say that we have to reestablish the security association between the points so that the numbers will not be repeated. And then, we also have authentication data so this is the field authentication data this is this is the field where we have the result of the hash function so what we do at the transmitting end we just use this complete thing as an input to some hash function hash function generates some digest for for checking the integrity and for checking the authentication for so not uh, not integrity but authentication for the uh, that thing so for that whatever value comes we just put that value here in this field after AH we have the uh, fields header fields which are available in ESP or encapsulation security protocol header so here we have the ESP header and we also have the ESP trailer now in ESP header part, we have the security parameter index exactly like we have security parameter index in, in authentication header. So that is the field identifying this uh, virtual circuit, which is, which, which is actually established between those two points. So this is the number given to that connection. Then we have the sequence number, exactly the same role that is used for anti-replay attack. And we also have some padding bits so padding bits are used uh, to complete the number of bits required for example in case of hashing function see when you when we give as an input some value to the hash function we need to give the required number of bits in as an input so in this case if the required number of bits are are maybe uh, as per the requirement maybe if you need 10 bits but there are 8 bits then 2 bits will be added in this so this is actually padding bits and then uh, this padding, this is the field defining the padding length. And so how many, uh, what is the length of these padding bits? And then we have, actually this is not, the, uh, this is uh, pad length. So this should be like pad length. And then we have the next header. So next header is uh, again defining the what kind of payload is carrying this specific packet. So that can be TCP, ICMP or anything. And uh, 
then yeah then we also have one uh, last field that is not the field but here what happens we are adding this authentication data esp authentication data separately here so that's esp authentication that is the data which we uh, add here so in, in the case of authentication header for example this data was uh, so for, for example, the authentication header we found that this this uh, result of hash function is added there 